In my previous video, we have discussed rank of a matrix. In this video, we are going to discuss normal or canonical form of a matrix. Every matrix of order m by n and rank r can be reduced by elementary transformation to the form IR000 where this IR is a unit matrix of rank R. This form of matrix is called normal form or canonical form of given matrix. Hello friends, you are watching YouTube channel Number Collage. This channel features easy to understand concept videos on mathematics. Effort has been made to explore the mathematical concepts through the basic ideas in mathematics. Normal or canonical form of a matrix may look like a matrix 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0, 0, 0, 0 0 where we can separate this one by demarcation lines like this where this one represents a unit matrix of rank 1 i1 then this row matrix represents o this column matrix represents another o and this square matrix is represented by another o or it may look like this 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 here this unit matrix of rank 2 1 0 0 1 can be demarcated like this and can be written as i2 which represents this unit matrix 1 0 0 1 then o which represents this square matrix then this O which represents this square matrix and O which represents this square matrix or it may even look like this 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 where this unit matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 can be demarked like this so that it can be written as i3 for this unit matrix of rank 3 and o which represents these three zeros we can also have a normal form which looks like 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1. Here the whole matrix is of the order 4 and rank 4 so which we can write as simply I4. In short to convert a matrix in normal form all we have to do is perform elementary transformations on matrix A such that A is converted into a matrix with a unit matrix of rank R in the left top corner of equivalent matrix A and all the remaining elements equal to 0. When this happens, rank of matrix A is the rank of this unit matrix R. So we can find rank of a given matrix by converting it into a normal form or canonical form. Now we will convert matrix A 2 minus 3 5 6 minus 9 15 8 minus 12 20 into a normal form and hence find its rank. Let's remember we can take the freedom of row as well as column transformation as per our convenience. If we observe the elements of matrix A then we find that by row transformations R2 minus 3 R1 and R3 minus 4 R1 we can convert all elements of row 2 and row 3 zeros. So we write A equivalent as first row will remain the same 2 minus 3 5. R2 minus 3 R1 gives 6 minus 3 2s are 6 
zero minus nine plus three three zero nine zero fifteen minus three five zero ten zero then r three minus four r one gives eight minus four two zero eight zero minus twelve plus four three zero twelve zero twenty minus four five zero twenty zero next we will take advantage of these two zeros to convert minus 3 and 5 0 and for that we have to go for column transformation so c2 plus 3 by 2 c1 and c3 minus 5 by 2 c1 converts this minus 3 and this 5 0 so we write a equivalent the first column 2 0 0 will remain the same c2 plus 3 by 2 c1 gives us minus 3 plus 2 times 3 by 2 2 2 gets cancelled so we get minus 3 plus 3 0 then because of these two zeros these two zeros will remain the same then in c3 minus 5 by 2 c1 we get 5 minus 5 by 2 2 multiplied by 5 by 2 this 2 will cancel with this 2 and we get 5 minus 5 0 because of these two zeros these two zeros will not get affected so we write zero zeros here now our task is to convert this two into one for that we will perform elementary transformation half r1 that will give us equivalent of a as one zero upon two will be zero zero upon two will also be zero and r2 and r3 will remain the same because of this one now a has become i1 o o o which implies rank of a to be one so this is how we can find the rank of a given matrix by converting it into a normal or canonical form we will reduce matrix a two three four five three 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12 into normal form and find its rank. If we carefully observe the elements of matrix A, we find that following row transformations R2 minus R1, R3 minus R2 and R4 minus R3 convert matrix A into equivalent matrix. The first row to 3 4 5 will remain the same r2 minus r1 means 3 minus 2 1 4 minus 3 1 5 minus 4 1 6 minus 5 1 then r3 minus r2 means 4 minus 3 1 5 minus 4 1 6 minus 5 1 7 minus 6 1 and r4 minus r3 means 9 minus 4 5 10 minus 5 5 11 minus 6 5 12 minus 7 5 further row transformations r1 minus 2 r2 r3 minus r2 r4 minus 5 r2 gives equivalent matrix a as r1 minus 2 r2 means 2 minus 2 0 3 minus 2 1 4 minus 2 2 5 minus 2 3 then row 2 will remain the same r3 minus r2 means 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 and r4 minus 5 r2 will give 5 minus 5 0 5 minus 5 0 5 minus 5 0 5 minus 5 0 next by interchanging row 1 with row 2 we will get 1 1 1 1 then 0 1 2 3 then third row 0 0 0 0 and this fourth row 0 0 0 0 now we will make use of these three zeros in the first column and with the help of column transformations c2 minus c1 c3 minus c2 c4 minus c3 we will get equivalent matrix of a the first column will remain the same c2 minus c1 will make 1 minus 1 0 
and because of these three zeros this one zero zero will remain the same c3 minus c2 will be one minus one zero two minus one one and the remaining two zeros and c4 minus c3 will be one minus one zero three minus two one and the remaining two zeros and finally c3 minus c2 and c4 minus c3 will give equivalent of a as 1 0 0 0 second column 0 1 0 0 c3 minus c2 will be 0 1 minus 1 0 then remaining two zeros and c4 minus c3 will be 0 minus 0 1 minus 1 0 and the remaining two zeros here if we do the demarcation like this then our equivalent matrix a becomes i2 o o o which is the normal form and it implies rank of matrix a equals rank of unit matrix i2 that is 2 so this is the rank and this is the normal form of matrix A. We will reduce matrix A 1 minus 1, 2 minus 3, 4 1, 0 2, 0 3, 1 4, 0 1, 0 2 into normal form and we will find its rank. According to the rules of elementary transformations, we will make this 4 0 by row transformation R2 minus 4 R1 that gives us equivalent matrix A as the first row will remain the same 1 minus 1 2 minus 3 then R2 minus 4 R1 will be 4 minus 4 0 1 plus 4 5 0 minus 8 minus 8 2 plus 12 14 third row and fourth row will remain the same. Next we will make these three elements 0 by column transformation c2 plus c1 c3 minus 2c1 c4 plus 3c1 so equivalent matrix A will be the first column will remain the same c2 plus c1 means minus 1 plus 1 0 5 plus 0 5 3 plus 0 3 1 plus 0 1. Next C3 minus 2 C1 gives us 2 minus 2 0 minus 8 minus 8 plus 0 minus 8 1 plus 0 1 0 plus 0 0 C4 plus 3 C1 will be minus 3 plus 3 0 14 plus 0 14 4 plus 0 4 and 2 plus 0 Next we will try to bring this one in this place for that we will perform interchanging of R2 and R4 that will give equivalent matrix A as the first row 1 0 0 0 now in place of second row we will write the fourth row 0 1 0 2 third row will remain the same 0 3 1 4 and in place of fourth row we write the second row 0 5 minus 8 14 next we will try to make these two elements 0 which are below this one by row transformation r3 minus 3 r2 and r4 minus 5 r2 that gives equivalent matrix a first row and second row will remain the same r3 minus 3 r2 will be 0 3 minus 3 0 1 minus 0 1 4 minus 6 minus 2 r4 minus 5 r2 will be 0 5 minus 5 0 minus 8 minus 0 minus 8 14 minus 10 after this we will make this to 0 by column transformation c4 minus 2c2 that gives equivalent a as the first three columns will be the same so we write 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 minus 8 and c4 minus 2c2 will give 0 2 minus 2 0 then because of these two zeros minus 2 and 4 remain the same next we will make this minus 8 0 by row transformation r4 plus 8 r3 
that gives equivalent A as first three rows will remain the same. So we write 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, then 0, 0, 1, minus 2 and these two zeros will be same then minus 8 plus 8 will be 0 and 4 minus 16 will be minus 12. Now we have to make this minus 2 0. For that we will perform C4 plus 2 C2. So equivalent matrix A will be C1, C2, C3 will remain the same. So 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. C4 plus 2 C2 gives us 0, 0, then 0 and minus 12 and finally we have to make this minus 12 1 so we will perform minus 1 upon 12 r4 that will give equivalent matrix a as 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 0 1 which is a unit matrix of order 4 and hence this is the normal form of A and its rank is same as the rank of this unit matrix which is 4. So we got this normal form and rank 4. If you like this video please share this to your classmates. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. See you in the next video. Until then keep watching Number College. Thank you.